Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Greek Myth Class. I am Clara Small. Today, we'll journey back in time to ancient Greece and explore the island of Crete, where a fearsome monster named Minotaur lurked in the first ever labyrinth. Once upon a time, in ancient Crete, there was a powerful king named Minos and Queen Pasiphae. They had a mysterious secret hidden in their nursery. Their daughter Ariadne could hear strange and frightening noises coming from there. Ariadne tried to find out what was inside, but the servants were too scared to reveal the secret. She eventually realized that her parents had given birth to a monstrous creature, which they called Minotaur, who has a bull head and a human body. To keep Minotaur from causing harm, King Minos asked the brilliant inventor Daedalus to build a maze called the Labyrinth. It was so complex that once someone entered, they couldn't find their way out. Minos guarded the entrance with his army to protect the island from the monster. Every year, King Minos demanded that Athens sent seven young men and seven young women as sacrifices to the Minotaur. Ariadne disagreed with her father's cruelty, but she couldn't change his mind. One year, Theseus, a brave prince from Athens, volunteered to face the Minotaur in Crete. He wanted to end this terrible tradition. However, King Minos imprisoned him until the next day when he would confront the monster. Ariadne wanted to help Theseus, so she sought advice from Daedalus. He gave her a magical golden thread and told her to give it to Theseus. Tell him to unwind the thread in the labyrinth. It will guide him back out. After defeating the Minotaur, with the golden thread in hand, Theseus entered the labyrinth the next day. The thread unwound behind him, creating a path to follow. Although the tunnel seemed endless, Theseus was determined to succeed. After a long and challenging battle, Theseus defeated the Minotaur by plunging his blade into its chest. His fellow prisoners were relieved, but they worried about finding their way out of the maze. Outside the labyrinth, Ariadne greeted them. She had arranged for a ship to take them back to Athens. With her help, all fourteen young men and women escaped before King Minos noticed. As the ship sailed far away from Crete, the Athenians celebrated Theseus as a hero. They thanked him for defeating the Minotaur and saving their lives. The tale of Theseus and the Minotaur became a legendary story passed down through generations. The end.